Today on the channel, from the Mortal Kombat line from McFarlane, Sub-Zero! Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Mortal Kombat McFarlane Toys unboxing and review, and this time we've got Sub-Zero. But remember, for all your McFarlane toy needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So today we've got another Sub-Zero variant out there. Uh, I did snooze and miss out on the original Sub-Zero figure. Even though it's not quite my Sub-Zero, it would have been nice to have that traditional blue Sub-Zero. Uh, but I got this one, and like I've said in some of these other Mortal Kombat videos uh, over the last few months, I went a little too crazy out there. I didn't need all these Sub-Zero figures. Uh, one or two would have been good to go. And this one maybe is the one I really should have passed on. I don't know. Uh, time will tell, I guess, because i got to think we're going to get more Sub-Zeros all the time. I know in the video game Mortal Kombat 11, they have so many skins out there. I think Spawn has like 40-some skins, I've been told, in the comments. Uh, I'm sure Sub-Zero is no different. He probably has about the same. And will they keep going back to the well and getting the most out of their molds? A lot of toy manufacturers do, and McFarland is one that gets them more than most out there. Uh, I can guarantee you that in his history throughout the years. But we're going to do it like we normally do it. We're going to talk about the packaging, take a look at it, unbox it, talk about it, see where it goes from there, and do a little comparison as well. So here it is, old Sub-Zero. And uh, this one, his weapon fell in the box, so it fell out of the plastic there. So we got a little crazy packaging. Wouldn't be good for a bit on card collector. Luckily, we're opening this one up. This is the old school 2019 packaging. Mortal Kombat figures right now have that bright yellow packaging, which I do prefer over this, even though this has the more classic logos to it and all that kind of fun stuff. Got a white background that really highlights the figure, of course. Got a little glamour shot here. Classic Mortal Kombat logo there. 22 points of articulation, ages 14 and up. There's old Sub-Zero on the side. Some might say looking only like he can look. Mortal Kombat right there. And then the back. You got a little glamour shot of the figure in action. No promotion of any other lines or any other characters, which I always feel is a big miss there. Uh, but it is what it is. So there it is. I don't see any paint imperfections or anything off the top. Whoa, we're falling out. Can I get... Boy, we're... this is a mess. This fell out too. This was just hanging by a thread, so I busted that out. So there you go. See you later up high. So I do love they come with the stands. I always say that. The stands are, are perfect for these. Uh, there he is in the old plastic prison. See him right... No, kind of see him there. There you go. We'll get my fingers out of the way. Plastic prison. So we're used to these uh, weapons. He's got these two axes, of course. And then we got the spine with the skull attached to it. I think that is a really cool feature. And then, of course, the figure itself. See you later. There it is. So this is a bloody variant edition. Uh, like I said, the most iconic is Sub-Zero and his blue. You think Sub-Zero, you think that blue outfit. Well, that one's off the pegs. Hard to get now. Around $100, I think, on the aftermarket. I'm not spending that on my Sub-Zero figures. This one, though, is all right. It's got a teal color to it. It's got the bloody variant. As we know with McFarland, he usually releases a regular version and a bloody variant to mixed results. Sometimes they look really cool, like that Raiden with white with blood splatter on him, and Baraka with white with blood splatter. This one kind of gets lost in the teal a little bit. I mean, for those that like blood splatter on their figures, you're probably all in on this, and I wouldn't blame you. But you got the teal, you got the orange, you got the white. I mean, we got a lot of articulation. We always walk through it. 22 points of articulation. Double jointed knees, double jointed elbows. You got the head, of course, the shoulder, the butterflies, the thigh swivel, the ankles, the toe. Uh, there's a lot going on there. He does have the same daggers on the side of him, but they are attached to him. You can't remove them. The only weapons he has are the two Italian ice sticks. I always call them Italian ice sticks for whatever reason. Uh, but always different degrees. They do have the blood splatter on these. A little bit of a see-through orange. Uh, very cool looking. And then it gets. I love how it gets white. It transitions to white. So it is really neat. And we've seen many examples of this over time, of course, as you guys know. But not too, not too shabby here. Uh, and then, of course, the spine and skull. Very cool. Very heavy metal. Uh, very deep. I like stuff like this. This is really cool. And I could see people using this and maybe other figures, too. You could mix this into your Marvel Legends or who knows? Who knows? Get crazy with your wrestling arena. Have an ultimate fatality in the wrestling arena and use this. But very cool. The stands come with these as well. We all know Mortal Kombat figures. I do love McFarlane that he includes stands with his figures. I always think that is a nice touch. I wish all figures had a stand. I get that it's not very cost-effective. 
but it uh, looks very cool and it, it helps the posability, especially on these, getting them in some more dynamic poses to help them stand as they're not going to stand in a lot of those. And even with these, you, you might need some flight stands and stuff if you're getting really crazy with them. But this is Sub-Zero. He's got a scar on his eye, on his head. He's got his face mask on. It's orange instead of the black and blue we're so used to when we think Sub-Zero. We talk about it all the time on the channel. You close your eyes and imagine what the character looks like. Uh, I imagine Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat 1, Mortal Kombat 2, and I'm sure most people do out there. It's so iconic, so well-known, and that was what I grew up with. Uh, nothing against you guys that are playing Mortal Kombat 11. I haven't played a video game in a long time. Too long. When I retire, I'm getting back into video games when I have some time. Uh, it's probably passed me by from the days of the N64 and PlayStation 2 and all that kind of stuff. But eh, that's what happens. You get old and time passes you by. I do wish, uh, you know, the original Sub-Zero was a little easier to get. I wish they would re-release that, but I understand the reasons they don't. And I guess if I was a collector that had that one, I wouldn't be too happy of a camper. So, I mean, I get it. I understand what's going on. And Sub-Zero, probably, if not the most popular Mortal Kombat figure character of all time. So... Uh, definitely in demand out there. I still think this is probably my favorite one. It's one I don't know too well, but it's the Iced Over Edition. Uh, I just always like the looks of this one. I, it's just different enough. This is the kind of repaints I like in my Mortal Kombat figures, or maybe any figures. This one, you know, just taking away the blue and adding the teal and adding a little bit of blood doesn't do it a lot for me. If you're a, a completist, a hardcore Sub-Zero guy, I can see getting this all day long. But this one's different enough with the Iced Over, Glazed Over look. It's uh, totally different to me. So this is what I like as far as variants and repaints. This is what I frown on a little bit. And like I said, if I had to do this over, I probably wouldn't have picked this one up. Uh, I definitely would not have picked this one up if I had the original blue one. Uh, I could tell you that much. But not having that original blue, it's like I'm trying to chase the dragon. I'm trying to find the one that I feel is my Sub-Zero. And I don't quite have that yet. Even the Storm Collectibles version is extremely expensive. I have not picked up that uh, beautiful Storm Collectibles one. I don't know. They don't really seem to re-release their figures. They, I do have the variant one with like the regular non-masked face Sub-Zero. That's just going to have to do with my Scorpion on my shelf. It's just the way it's going to have to be for now, unfortunately. But what say you out there? Where are you at with your Mortal Kombat collection? Are you collecting them? Are you getting all of them? Are you getting the variants? Are you getting the chases? Are you just buying Storm? Tell me in the comments your thoughts on your Mortal Kombat collection. I'd love to hear it. And then don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, putting out videos every single day. We're unboxing a lot of Mortal Kombat as well. So subscribe, hit the old notification bell. Follow me on social media, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram, at SirPaul64 on Twitter, and of course, Pro Wrestling Tees. Search Kyle Peterson. So for the McFarlane Sub-Zero figures, I'm Kyle. I will see you guys real soon.